an update on your Nakamura Tumi WT300. Um, we got super lucky in the sense that on all the flats that rides on the base of the machine, they had Turkite on it. Um, because we were nervous that we'd have to machine it to accept the thickness of profile for 30,000 to 45,000 to bring everything back to centerline. Because of that, thank God it saved us a ton of time. The downside, um, there's no plugs on this freaking machine. It's all hardwired. It took forever. It literally took forever. And for how much you have to mark everything, it was a joke. But um, this is your sub spindle. It's what it bolts onto, where the motor is. I mean, this thing is absolutely filthy. Um, but we're gonna get this all cleaned up. You got your sub spindle motor here. I got the, I think this is the upper X and Y axis. We're gonna have to go through as well. You could see, I mean, it, up here, this way doesn't look terrible, but it's just been sitting there in neglect and everything else. The ball screw is completely shot. Granted, it probably doesn't ride up there that much because it runs in the cell, it runs all the time in one area. Uh, but we're gonna go through all this. We're gonna go, um, we're gonna scrape an alignment, new ball screws, bearings, motor's gotta be all checked out. It's a lot of work. It's, just, it's overwhelming to look at. But if we keep on walking, you're gonna see some more slides, two spindles, uh, main spindle and sub spindle, some more ball screws, more motors on the bottom, wipers, everything else. And then you go back to the machine. Now this thing is absolutely nasty. But there's no plugs. There are no plugs on this machine. <laughs> I could go down the line in the back, but it's just filthy as hell. Um, just a few plugs would have helped, but I mean, it's just, it's terrible. Um, it just, it's taking a lot longer to do this, but I mean, that's what it is, what we gotta do. Um, we supported the top part uh, with our gantry. Um, the problem is, is that, um, I need to take this beam off and I'm going to show you this video real fast. But because of that little arm right there, it doesn't allow me to get past this. I could push it out that way. Uh, but we're trying to support it a little bit more where we could open these things up a little bit. So it's a little bit more forgiving to pull this thing out with the forklift. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to get another gantry over here. Or we were thinking about putting our long gantry up here, which would go across the whole distance up here. And uh, I'm going to give the camera to him to go the whole entire distance and then we could pick it in different spots. So we got this far, we might reset tomorrow morning and readjust it. So then that way, everything is freed up from the bed way so we can pull the bed out and then we can start pressure washing it and we gotta send it out to be reground. Now I myself can regrind the top slides because my rail doesn't get in the way. But when you come in down here where these ways are completely trashed, and when we get this thing all cleaned up, I can show you exactly what's going on with everything. Um, my rail gets in the way. I can't bring the, the angle of my head down. So the other company has a wider uh, column base that, you know, through travel that goes through the column. And he's able to position this thing on its side where he can pick up four corner zero on the very ends and then grind it as if this thing is just perfectly flat and trued up, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but. That will be done, and then uh, while he's doing all that, we're gonna be going through all the slides, spindles will be gonna send it out, uh, ball screws, some will be sent out for rebuild, but, or then some will be bought brand new. I forget exactly what the customer write-up was, but I know some ball screws are good, some are bad, um, so we're gonna make the decision coming up pretty soon. But And then we gotta go through all the cable tracks, all the wiring, lubrication, um, because this machine's been sitting in the cell, a lot of the cabling, you know, it's been running in one continuous motion the whole time. I need to replace it. Um, I don't want to replace everything, um, but I'm going to replace everything that we need to replace so we don't have any issues and my warranty stands for the years to come. So uh, stay tuned for another video. Actually, I'll, I'll keep on showing you down here. This mess all the way through. And this is also what we're talking about. If you look at this frame here, this lip gets in the way. Um, so we're actually going to be opening this up a little bit. So it gives us a little bit of leeway because everything's fixed and hard and it's not, it's not light either. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to get another video of the bed completely pulled apart. And then I'm going to show you steps of um, cleaning the machine. I'm going to show you what the cleaner I use. So maybe that helps you guys out. Um, if not, 
I can even show you all the pictures. We had to disconnect all these wiring. Couldn't be some plugs, man. <laughs> show me some plugs. <laughs> None. None. <laughs> so, but yeah, stay tuned and we'll get you more stuff. Thank you.